Oh, oh, you put on it. You're putting on a second floor. Well, I figured we'd need a, you know, some more room. Yeah, of course. I didn't know how to go through the house without breaking anything, but I, cool. I started, <clears throat> I started to continue your your castle esque type theme, and see see. <laughs> oh yeah. See down all the oh, way neat. on the okay, sides so here. You went around and made more stone wall. Cool. Oh please, all all around the entire perimeter, getting goofed. I also had to kill some spiders, but when I was doing it, I was I was knocking over the wheat here. I didn't know how to plant that. Oh again. yeah. You need to use um, it. Well, actually, this this ground here is fine. All you need to do is if you if you break wheat that's mature like that, you get two things. One of them mm -hmm. is the wheat, and the other one is seeds. So then you just you just select seeds, right. seeds in your hand, and then just right click on the square. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, why don't we why don't we go out the back? Because uh, the other thing that I found was uh, I don't know if you saw that there's a there's a dungeon entrance out there. Oh my God! Yeah, and there's things oh, you, inside. Oh, so it. you found the dungeon. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Oh, I, well, I, I, um, I think we lost the boats. What do you mean we lost the boats? <laughs> I, I think there was an incident with with uh, chickens. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let me. And, all right, okay, let me let me go make two more boats. Then. And I don't know, maybe the sticks or something ended up in my inventory. Nope. Oh, I don't know what happened okay, to them. Just two more boats. Boats are just made with basically like um, three across the middle and then uh, one on the top, left mm -hmm. and right. Why don't we just swim it? Yes, because because it's not that boats far. Are cooler. Although these boats are crap. We're, later we're going to make much much. Well, much that's just it. They boats. keep breaking. Uh, the the trick with these boats though is that they don't like they don't control like walking. Basically, you just use W to push forward in the direction in the yeah, direction that you're just, facing. Right. And they accelerate yeah, slowly. So basically, up, like, look, look over to the left and then hit W, and the boat will turn that way. So you don't use A and D at all. You just use W and S to accelerate, no, I know. and you use the mouse to turn. And yeah, if you crash, I mean, if you if you go too fast, you will crash into something. So, oh, yeah, click. Okay. Oh, and it. <laughs> oh, see, see, see what I mean? An incident with the boat. It, they just did fly I guess, away. I guess you have to be not right up against something when you try to get out. I don't know. Oops, squid. Oh yeah, it even says there, press left shift to dismount. Oh, I started Oops. going down here and all of a sudden there <laughs> were it went, things. It went again. Yeah. See well. what I mean? So yeah. So anyway, this this is actually where I came up. I I went through the normal entrance and uh, I dug all the way around till I found an underground cave system. And then uh, when I decided I had enough stuff, I decided to dig my way out. And it was while I was digging myself out that I heard the dungeon, which I think is over here. Someone's just spawning yes, down they here. There are. There are. Uh, that's why like mines that you dig your ah here it is. It's in here. Yeah. There you go. Phew. Oh, see, I yeah, heard something. Yeah, that's this. That's this dungeon over here. And yeah, there are some. There are some dark areas over here. So things, things are spawning naturally, as well as uh, ooh, some iron. Ooh, and some coal. Okay. Uh, never mind that for now, because we actually have a, a fair amount of iron and coal right now. Uh, okay, where was dungeon? Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. This way. <coughs> Yep, this way. Yeah, now you see that thing in there, that the, like flaming cage? That's a monster yeah. spawner, and that's generating uh, one or more times a monster. It looks to me like that one's generating nothing but zombies. Now, do you get like copious amounts of experience by slaughtering yes, these things? Yes, that's why when we get in there, some people will destroy the spawner to stop the flow of monsters. But some people will keep it because it's good for farming monsters to generate experience that you use to enchant items. Okay, wait. Dig, dig our, dig an entrance in there for us, and we'll go in and we'll uh, temporarily disable the spawner by surrounding it with torches. Okay. Yep. You ready? Okay, so 
was a bat. Yep. Bats can't hurt you much. They will every once in a while. I think if you like, if you hit them, they will try to. So th this is a vanilla dungeon. Where this? <clears throat> where the? Where this chest come oh, from? Oh well, that's the reward. The the reward for attacking the monsters in a treasure is whatever they give you here. So we've actually got uh, a saddle which you can use to ride pigs or horses. Uh, iron horse armor, gold horse armor, a bucket, uh, a loaf of bread, a music record, and some wheat. Something's coming. There are lots of bats over here, actually. Oh, shit. There's a guy wearing armor coming up. Oh, from behind us? Yep. Oh, what is that? What is that? The thing that was oh, wearing armor. It's a zombie. Why is he wearing uh, armor? It, it's just a, a random appearance thing. Oh. I... Okay, do you get anything by uh, killing bats? I don't bats? think so. I don't even think it generates experience. Oh, shit. So yeah, and anyway, anytime you dig and you find this uh, green mossy cobblestone, uh, that also means that there's mm -hmm. a dungeon nearby. And again, while we've got this blocked off with torches on all sides, no monsters can come out. But we don't break the thing, and you can actually see there's a little zombie spinning inside there. Hmm. Now can we take the box? Yeah, you can take the whole box. I've emptied it, so you can just break it with an axe and, and take it with you if you want. Now, of course, even without the spawner, if it's dark enough in here for monsters to spawn, then they will. And let me think. I think I actually need to make a crafting bench and make myself at least a stone pickaxe because it's silly not having one. Um, do I have any things that you could use to make a pickaxe? Uh, well, I can, I can make a stone one with me. I just didn't bring any iron uh, from home. Uh, let me see if I have any. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't there some iron around the corner? Uh, yes, but I needed a pickaxe to mine it. So I'll get it. Um, Where was it? It was around the corner somewhere. Was, was it this way? Yeah. Yeah, there's some iron right here. In fact, we can make that dungeon a little crafting base. We'll put a furnace in there, too. And... Yeah, because there's some coal here as well. Oh, there's some iron down here. Some iron underneath, underneath there. And I also found a lot of gold, and I found a, a significant number of diamonds. Now, how how uh, far did you venture into the into the cave area there? Oh, not very far. At all. Okay, because there's a, <laughs> there's some pretty impressive looking stuff there, at least as far as Minecraft is concerned. Uh, let's see. Let me just build my way out of here. Uh, I'm out of torches as well, so I can't really go too far down here. Oh, um, I've got sticks okay, and coal. We'll make some torches. Then. And I'll go back here and make a furnace or two actually I don't have enough cobble I need to mix it with cobble <clears throat> Uh, 
<laughs> okay, where do you want the torches? Um. Oh, I would just say, I mean, carry them around. Actually, why don't, why don't you go down that area where the water is and just uh, go mm -hmm. down there and, and mount them on the wall to lighten the area up until you come to the end of whatever that is. I'm afraid of where this river goes. I mean, if you, I tell you what, if you want, you can always just get rid of a river really easily just by doing this. As a block well, you can, up the thing. Block it up that will that will redirect the flow, or you can literally just like brick up the source of the water. Like I did, I didn't do that because like once you brick up the source of water, oh, oh. And it will just yeah. disappear and will be gone forever. In this case, I've kept it in there. Uh, that's the source block inside the wall there, and I've just blocked off the flow so it can't go anywhere. So I haven't destroyed the water, but I've redirected it so it won't be in the way. So there's more iron. That's that noise? Slime. Uh, let's see, I have to throw out some <clears throat> gravel. Do, do we like slime? Well, it depends. Right now we don't need them because we're not making anything that requires to slime balls. Uh, the major use in vanilla Minecraft of slime balls, I think, is uh, sticky pistons, which are um, a device that you can use that will move another block uh, over and back based on what kind of electrical signal you're giving it. So that's more for machinery yeah. type stuff. And they only they only spawn uh, in certain in certain chunks. So it sounds like he's this way. Yep, there he is. It's a small one too. In fact, I think he's too small. He can't even hurt me. Ah, uh, okay. There's a natural. There's another natural cave passage over here. So I need more, more, more torches. No, that's not a good idea. Yeah, we're like we're underneath a pool of lava over here. So we're gonna have to. That's not a good place to be. Around it. Uh, by the way, um, when you're underneath a, a block that is directly underneath moving water or lava, will show uh, drips. Blue ones for water, red yeah, ones for I saw. lava. So uh, it used to be that wouldn't show up, so that you would just dig a block and suddenly there'd be lava above you. Uh, but they don't do that anymore. Yeah. Okay. So down here. Whoop! Careful. At the bottom there. I think I didn't finish out the uh, stairs quite. Oh, what's the blue, uh, purple okay, stuff? The purple stuff is obsidian, and that's what happens when moving water touches moving lava. Uh, and this kind of area down here, I think if you notice, we're down. Yeah, we're down at Y11. This is like prime diamond and gold area, uh, near near underwater uh, lava and water, and at the tw at about the 10 to 15 height above the floor. Yeah, and see over here, there's a bunch of stuff that like I couldn't carry. I mean, here's some more iron. There's some lapis over there. Uh, there's some redstone over here, some more oh, iron. What blue stuff? The blue stuff is lapis. In, in vanilla, that's only used for making dyes, but it's used for making advanced circuits in the modified version. In fact, actually, we, we have enough resources now that basically we ought to just, like, grab whatever we feel like it, uh, get out, and, uh, switch over to the modified client. Which will take us a while of, uh, fiddling, but it's, it's gonna be worth it. Away that slime ball or something. Oh, I'm hearing baddies. Yeah, I think it's above us somewhere. Yeah, and I hear skeletons and zombies. When you dig empty mine shafts yourself, it's you're usually pretty safe as long as you take enough torches. Uh, but when you enter into one of these natural caves, which is where all the good stuff really is, that's when you have to worry about, because you can't light every single place. Uh, and so there's always going to be a place that monsters will come at you. Maybe there's, oh, I hear spiders now too. And we haven't found even one of the more interesting places, which is uh, an abandoned mine shaft. 
and and that will have like uh, railroad rails and all other kinds of stuff and uh, and lots of monsters, including poisonous cave spiders, which are a lot of fun. Believe me. Oh wow. Switched my steel swords, my iron sword, because I do not want to be ambushed by some crap. While well, using a stone sword. Oh, I did accidentally fall in the lava oh, once. Did you lose much of anything? Oh yeah, me. Yeah, but I mean, you would like. Oh, diamond. <laughs> oh no, I, I recovered okay, the stuff. Over here, I'll show you some diamond. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm hearing spiders yeah. too. Oh, here is this guy coming. Shit, 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 shit. Weapons. Uh, he's got a shovel. Why does the zombie have a shovel? Well, I think at some point they just started to give uh, monsters ran. Oh, and there's some gold. I need to build another pickaxe, I guess. I broke the one I had. Somebody coming behind you. Where are they coming from? Oh, there they are. They're coming down from that, that, that bubble. Can we block well, that it up? It probably means there's a dark area. Oh, crap. Get lost. No, 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 no.